What's going on guys? I just got a 2013 Subaru Impreza. I was told it doesn't run, but that's my job. I'm here to figure that out. The battery's dead right now. I brought some cables. I brought an extra battery. This is a project of the week, so let's see what we got. So now what I'll do is I'll pop the hood because the battery's dead. It's been sitting. I'll either jump start it, but I brought an extra battery, so I think I'm just going to swap that out. And uh, let's hear the motor. Let's see what's going on. All right, change of plans. The battery's dead. So what I'm actually do is jump start it because apparently the battery that I brought is dead. So the car is definitely knocking pretty bad. It's gonna need a motor. So now I just gotta worry about how to get it home and finding a new motor for it. But the motor is definitely done. I'm at a friend's house right now. I called him to see if he had a motor for this car. And luckily for me, he does. So I'm here to check it out. Hopefully it's good and uh, we'll drop it in the car. Let's go check it out. Hey. Guys, the motor. <laughs> I don't want to take a good one. Okay. Shall we? The tire doesn't move at all. Yeah, yeah. It, they're they're different as far as uh, the. All right, guys, we're here. We're back at the shop. I got the car ready to work on. Next thing I gotta do, pull the motor. I already have the spare motor that I'm gonna be putting in the vehicle. So all I gotta do is the work now. So let's just get to it. So this is the engine. I like that it's been untouched. It's all stock. I always wanna start off by taking the battery out. Then we'll take the accessories out. Undo all the transmission bolts, starter. Exhaust manifold, and that's it. All right guys, it's been about an hour and a half and we're ready to pull the motor. Here's a little update. So everything's off. All accessories are gone. Exhaust manifold is disconnected. Transmission bolts, see it's ready to split right there. It's ready to come out already. So all I gotta do now is just pull it out of the car.
Alright guys, that's officially the end for day one. Did a lot today. Brought the car home, took the motor out, I sourced another engine, went and bought it, brought it home. Pulled the original engine and uh, new one is on the stand. Tomorrow we'll build a new one, drop it in the car, get it running. That's about it. Easy day. So, that's it for today. Officially day two, hopefully by the end of today, we'll have a running and driving 2013 Subaru Impreza. So what I'm about to do now, I'm going to take off the intake manifold, swap it for the old motor, get all that stuff original to the car itself. After that, it's plain and simple. You drop it back in, put some oil in it, and we'll hear it run. So let me show you guys what's about to happen. So I got the new motor on the stand. Basically what I'm going to do is swap intake manifolds. They're basically the same thing, but I did find the back of this head has the EGR pipe this style. And this motor over here, it's a little different and these hoses are a little different. So I want to put exactly how it's going to be on the car, how it was, and that's what I got to change. Other than that, for the exact same motor, 2.0 liter, should be pretty simple, easy, that's about it. Also when I do these kind of swaps I do like to reseal a few things so I'm going to be resealing the valve covers and a few other little gaskets I'm going to be replacing. Just little things here and there that so when I drop it in the car I don't have to worry about it leaking anywhere or anytime soon so let's uh, get started. So I like to start with the wiring harness and just work my way into what I actually have to unbolt. Get all the wires out of the way. Makes things a lot easier. This is the one that came out of the new motor. This is on the original motor. So connectors are different. Lengthwise are the same thing, just the connection. In order to put it correctly to the harness, I have to use the ones off the original motor. So now with the harness, all the connectors disconnected. Spark plug wires out. Good. Go ahead, remove coolant hoses from the block to the intake manifold. Shooting four 12 millimeter bolts, two on the outer. things that I actually missed. First of all, I'm used to the EJ motors and there's always four bolts that hold down the intake manifold itself. There was three on this one. I didn't realize there's this plate here with the two 10 millimeter bolts. And that's actually holding this whole thing down. So I was trying to take it off, but it'll never come off without these coming off. So on these motors, that's you gotta look for. Take manifold is removed. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna just drain the oil out of it. While that's draining, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the old intake. Get that all ready to put on the new motor so we can install it. All right, like I said, this is the old one. Back is completely different. You gotta unbolt this, take it off, install it on the here. And one tip, I do like to reseal these. Just put some silicone here and here. It doesn't hurt. Also, I've seen it leak from here before on these motors. So I would recommend putting a little bit of sealant around here. Other than that, it should just install just fine. All right, it's officially time to drop this motor in. It's all built, ready to go on the crane. All we gotta do is drop it in and we're good to go.
All right, here it is, minus the radiator. One thing I do want to point out is I did have to change this whole alternator system, tensioner. This is the old pulleys with the alternator. This is the old belt. What I didn't notice is this timing cover had two pulleys. So that's on the top. On this new motor that I put in, it's completely deleted. Came with this bracket, this alternator. So I had to completely change it. This is the number for the belt that I got. If you're doing this swap and run into this problem, that's what you gotta do. Alright guys, that's it for this one. The car's officially done. Washing the car is my favorite part, so why not just throw it in the video. But I'm basically creating this channel just for fun. I work on Subis for a living, so I want to bring you guys along with me. If there's anything specific you guys want me to show or cover, please let me know in the comments. Other than that, like and subscribe, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.